So in the previous video, I explained you what is the problem, uh, which is the equilibrium problem. And I have given you a very basic solution of this equilibrium problem. And we have seen the program. Now in this video, I am going to give you a more efficient solution of the same equilibrium problem. Okay. Now remember this thing that in the industries or the companies, nobody going to ask you such simple problems. But we have to cover these simple problems so that we can build a base to create or to solve better problems or more difficult problems. So that is why I am covering everything from very basics. I am assuming that you don't know anything. That is why we studied C programming. That is why we studied basics of data structures. That is why we studied basics of algorithms. And now we are up to the problem solving using the applications of, the, of that programming language as well as the algorithms. Now what is the second solution? Okay. So the second solution says the idea is to get the total sum of an array first and then iterate through the array and keeping the updating the left sum which is initialized to zero in the loop we can get the right sum by subtracting the elements one by one so how this is working so assuming that we have the following array this array is having the values minus seven one five two minus four three and zero now the first thing that we are going to do here is find out the sum of entire array okay so step one is find out the sum of entire array okay so the sum of this entire array is minus seven plus one plus five plus two plus of minus four plus three plus zero which is again going to be minus seven uh, plus one is minus six plus five is minus one minus one plus two is one one uh, minus four is three minus three and three plus three is zero so the total sum is going to be zero okay so we are going to store the zero into a variable called as sum right now we'll take a variable i fine and whatever the location of i is we are going to subtract that value from sum so that first of all we have to find the sum of all the left numbers and we also have to find the sum of all the right numbers okay now to find the sum of these numbers it is going to take order of n time because we have to iterate through the entire array only once now let us say i is pointing to the first index location which is actually i can call it as a zeroth index location here and this zeroth index location is having the value minus seven so what we are going to do is we are going to make sum this to, uh, total sum sum of this right array or you can say right sum i can name it as r sum then that is going to be zero minus of seven that is we know that sum of the entire array is zero so i just going to sub subtract this value and in the left array left sum i'm just going to add the values which is before this okay so because before this initially there's no value so left sum i'm going to assume as zero fine so the right sum is after subtracting this minus seven so right sum is going to be um, so what is this right sum so that is going to be minus of minus seven i can say it as zero minus of minus seven that is going to be seven okay so because this total sum sum from here to here was zero i subtract is minus seven from this so it is minus of minus seven so that is going to be seven and the left sum is still zero so zero is not equal to seven now because the sum is not equal i'm just going to increment the value of i so now i is going to point to the next location so when i will point to the next location in the left sum i'll add this value okay so it is zero plus of minus seven so the left sum is going to be minus seven and in the same way i'm going to take the right sum here and i'm going to subtract this one from the right sum so the value is going to be seven minus one which is going to be six therefore the right sum that we got from here to here that is six and the left sum that we got from here to here that is minus seven so the values are minus 7 and minus 7 is not equal to 6 
Hence, I'm again going to increment the value of i. So I will point to this location. So when you are going to increment the value of i, now add this number onto this right sum. So we are going to make minus 7 plus 1, which is going to be minus 6. And also subtract this value from the left sum. So the left sum, right sum is going to be 6 minus of 5, which is going to be 1. So we know that from here to here, the total value of the sum is 1. And from here to here, the total value of sum is minus 6. And minus 6 and 1 is not equal. Now when they are not equal, again, just for clarity purposes, I am writing this array again. Minus 4, 3 and 0. So we knew when the value of i was pointing here. Now the left sum was minus 6 and the right sum was 1. Again, when you are going to increment the value of i, so i will point to this. So I am going to subtract this value from here. And I'm going to add this value here. So when we have minus 6 plus of 5, that is going to be minus 6 plus 5, that is going to be minus 1. Therefore, the left sum from here to here is minus 1. And when you are going to subtract this value from this, that is 1 minus 2, that is going to be minus 1. So this minus 1 and this minus 1, both the sums are equal. So we can say this is the equilibrium point into this given array. And because we found the equilibrium point, so that is why we can we solve this problem. Now you can see to perform this operation we just have to use a while loop. We don't have uh, to write two separate loops for this. And uh, Performing this operation is only going to take order of n time and it is slightly, uh, very slightly tricky but it is much more efficient as compared to before because now it is going to take the time complexity as order of n plus order of n which is order of n. So time complexity is order of n now which is much better as compared to before. Now you see the same algorithm I have written as some kind of a pseudo code here. So it is the same thing. So it is saying initialize the left sum as 0 that we have done. Get the total sum of the array that we have done. Now iterate to the array for index i to do the following. So whenever you are going to increment the value of i. So from the right sum I am going to decrement that value and from the left sum I am just going to add that value. Okay. And we are going to check at every case if the sum is equal or not. If the sum is equal, then I'm going to return the index value. But if the sum is not equal, then again, I'm going to iterate through this. And after the end of this entire loop, if we cannot find any such index location, then I'm going to go to here, which says minus one, that yes, uh, we cannot find any uh, index location here, which is the equilibrium point. Hence, we stop. Now, check out this program here. This is the same program. Now in this case what happens is that um, passing the same array and here we have taken the entire sum as 0. So we will calculate the sum of this array and here for this for loop this is a simple for loop to calculate the sum of this array. And we are taking the left sum one more variable which is left sum. So left sum is going to be 0 and I am also going to take this sum. So this sum is actually acting, acting as a right sum. Okay, it's acting as a right sum. Now, in this for loop, that is iterating i from the first location to the last location. In this for loop, every time we uh, change the location of i from the right sum, that is from this sum, I'm just going to decrement this value. For example, initially I'm decrementing minus 7 from the sum of this entire array. And we are going to check if the left sum and sum is are equal or not. If they are equal, then return the value of i. Otherwise, just add this uh, location, this index value to this uh, left sum. Okay. And if after this loop, we cannot solve this problem, if we cannot find such location, then we are just going to return minus 1. Right. This is a very, very simple program, fairly easy program. And I hope that you understood this program. And uh, these programs I'm covering for, you know, uh, I'm covering every type of problem here from very simple problem to the very difficult problems. If you are facing any difficulty, just let me know. And let us move on to the next problem that we have to solve regarding the arrays. Thank you so much for watching this video.